Wow. Look at that. Back out. Back out in yes. the woods this time. Lois is wandering around, trying to find the level, but it's, we know where it is. It's over there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so the level that we're after has some very impressive mineral formations in it, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Um, these amazing pearls. Pearls. They look like eggs. I've not seen them myself, but you have. You've been here before. So very, very impressive. The collections of naturally deposited... And they look like uh, they've been placed. They do, they? like little nests yes. of pearls. Uh, gold coloured, silver coloured, black, blue, red, every every colour um, cave pearls formed on the floor in these little circles and these little patterns. Yep. So we're going to go and find them tonight, hopefully. In this Water night. levels permitted. Water levels yeah, permitted. We do have the old wetsuits, as you can see. You Last want... time I was there, the water was up here. Yeah. So we're going to... Let's go and check these pearls out. Let's go do it. Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> we're sort of in. This is the level. Coming in here and carries on behind us. So it looks very small and a bit grotty now. However, 150 years ago, when the mine was opened, this level was big enough for horse-drawn trains of wagons to be pulled out. However, the ore that was in those wagons being pulled out by the horses through here uh, was not actually the ore that came from this mine because uh, there was a scam that was started in about 1874 uh, where ore from different mines in the UK were actually imported to here put in the mine, hidden underground, and when the company directors came here, the miners were told to then load that ore into wagons and push it out in front of their noses. So uh, the mine actually wasn't that productive. Uh, it was in operation for about 20, 30 years, and most of that time it was uh, pretty much a scam. So we're going to go in there now and see the real good stuff, which is the mineral formations which have formed since the mine was abandoned, since about 1902. So the last time this mine was operated would have been about 1901, 1902. So without further ado... Let's go see the pearls. Let's go see the pearls. Well, that's where we've got to go. Ooh. Lovely, doesn't it? How deep do you reckon it is? <laughs> I wonder where to find out. Let's go. Right, Al drew the short straw. And then in we go. Oh, Happy? <laughs> there we go, he's in. It's very cold. It is rather. What do you reckon the temperature is? Ooh, the water? Yeah. Five or six. How was your dry suit day? It's dry. <laughs> Where's Lois? Is Lois here? Yeah. Oh, let me spin around, let's see what's going on. There she is. I can see a boot. You okay, Lois? There she is. Hey. It's just a little ducky bit here, really. It opens out a bit where Al is behind me. I'm walking now, I'm kind of floating in. <laughs> <laughs> right. You see. I'm still walking on rubble. Yeah, Look at the water. Yeah, good. See the water line up here, where the water's been. Okay, wow. we're in business. This is amazing. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. You always appreciate it more when you're going slowly like this. It's fantastic. So this adit is a drift along uh, a load. Right. Very, very indistinct at the moment. It's there in the roof. Oh, there's a passing place. Oh, okay, cool. Here we go, there's the load. You can see there's a bit of a clay joint going on there in the roof. Very, very poor. But in principle, yes. the load was believed to get richer the further into the mountain you went, in theory. Mm. It's a... Um... What you would call a very fine runner. Oh, oh yes. Not a very fine one. But a, a rather robust, yeah, yeah, rather uh, a rather crude runner, I dare say. Yeah. <laughs> Without putting in, too crude a manner on it. Ramming in the powder. Absolutely. 
So this mine was uh, four years before uh, dynamite was patented. Cut that. This mine dates from four years before Alfred Nobel uh, patented his world famous uh, uh, mining appliance. So this would have been driven using, uh, using just black powder and the, uh, the, the drill holes that we'll see as we go along here are all hand driven. Uh, no. a big rock here. Is there? Okay, just want to trip. Compressed air pneumatic drills, uh, they were not used here, so all of the drill holes had to be, uh, had to be dug by hand. Big rock. Another one. Look at the wall. Yeah, right, so we've got some mineralization coming, coming on now. Oh, look where it was, up here. Did you see these? These little strings. Are they spiders' webs? Spiders' webs. Yeah. Spiders' cocoons. Yes, Lois's favourite. <laughs> <laughs> Lois's favourite. Look at the wall up there. Oh, wow, it's been right up there. Jeez, yeah. Wow. So that's from... Way back when, when the mine was completely blocked, yeah, yeah. That's oh wow, you can see it clearly. Years ago, it That's been... right, it was completely inaccessible until then, yeah. Right up on the roof. Was there tracks in it? Did they yeah, they had uh, horse-drawn trains along here, what yeah. These? What have you found? The Oh yes, oh those are nice. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh, lovely. So, iron gowers up there, formed dangling down from the roof and on the walls. Do you know what? This is the coldest I've ever been. Is it really? <laughs> in a mine. You know what? I'm so nice and totally warm in my dry suits. I just had to rub it in. So there's you and your dry suit, you and your semi-dry suit, and me in a summer wet suit. <laughs> <laughs> Are you cold, Lois? No, I'm not. Lois doesn't feel the cold. <laughs> Oh, it swims in the sea in the winter. This is interesting. Look at these shot holes here, the drill holes here. They head out by, which is quite curious. This one heads in by, this one heads out by. So they've obviously widened out the level at a later date to, to facilitate horse drawn trains in here. Another one here going Yeah, out. going out by, yeah. yeah. So they've, they've widened out the added. Oh, no. Probably the 1901 reopening. Look at this. We have a big chamber. Oh wow, Ooh, is that flooded winds? Oh, we got ourselves a flooded winds. And a little trial cross cut there, going through the load. Anything in here? Let's have a look. Nothing. This is a lovely level. Yeah, yeah. yeah the remains of the windlass here. Whoops, I nearly fell over. Let's try and get to it before we, on the film before we muck it up. Yeah. Nice. Do you think it's it big. goes? It's big, isn't it? It's huge. Wow. Do you know what? We've got to rob it. It looks robbable. Absolutely. <laughs> I love that phrase. And see this post there? Yeah. There's a post for windlass. There's another one here. The drum in the, the metal bracket there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might find the windlass at the bottom. We, we have to come back and rob it. Yeah. And you know what else we can see? Daylight. Aha! So this is how you originally came in here? This is how I came in originally. I have sailed down this. Down that? Down that. If you stand where I was... Oh, this is the ledge I was told about. Yes, this is the ledge. So, it's, you just come down here and then you just land plop right here. Wow. Yep. One day we'll do it. And it's an incline as well, I see. Yeah, it's a lovely incline. All the way. Nice abseil. If you stand over there where I just was, you can see the daylight clearly then. I see all the way. Yeah. Yes. So it's not that deep. Yeah. Up there it is. Look at those massive sockets up there for the timbers, yeah. Impressive. We have an amazing thing to show you guys next. Don't we, Yana? Further down there. Absolutely. Yes. This is something else. It's hard to walk there, you know, I nearly fell over. Yeah. There's a really nice 
loaded excursion. If you come up over here in the middle, see this? This is a really, really good breccia exposure here. Low breccia being um, pebbles, pieces of country rock smashed up and cemented together with quartz. There's another one here. I'm sure that's the windlass. Looks nice. <laughs> they are one, two, three. Got three little strings of breccia there. So we're in the load, but there's no, you know, no lead or zinc or anything productive here. No, we can't see nothing. Just lots of animals. Like you said in the beginning, a bit of a scam, really. It was, yeah, it was. What you got here? We found the other end, or the other post, if you like, for the windlass, upside down. See the, the slots in the, in the bottom there? Yes. So this is the part then, to that one that's dead in situ over there, would have been at this side, and then each slot, the top of each, they would have been, that's where the windlass drum would have been mounted, like a wishing well. And then you could have wound the kibbles of all up the shaft. So this, this one's been dismantled for some reason and laid here, and the other one is still in situ. The actual windlass drum is either under here somewhere, I've been tripping over it, or it might be down at the bottom of the wings. We're going to have to come back with the ROV and find out. Look at this. This is amazing. Look at those stalactites oh, hanging down up there. Oh. Beauties, aren't they? It's a little bit like reminiscent of the alien line, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely it is. And then the stalagmites coming up here. One day they may meet. Yeah. Beautiful. The torch is a bit bright for the camera. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, How's that? That's better. <laughs> Big collapse here. Yeah. The size of these uh, timbers is quite impressive as well. What have you found? Do you know what that is? <laughs> the start of the mine pearls. <laughs> ah. Yep, you found them. That's where it all but begins. That's where it all begins, but the best stuff is just over there. Absolutely. This is just the temptation you get at the beginning. These are teasers, are they? Yeah, they're almost teasers. like pebbles, but they're not pebbles, they're not are pebbles. they? What are they made of? Mineral. The, just yeah, yeah. 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 Mineral. Let's go see the good ones. They're over there. <laughs> <laughs> They're quite. The, is like, um, <laughs> the formations under the water is almost blue. Look at it, the cloudiness is like inky blue. And how the iron is leaching out from these rocks here. Yeah. Oh, look at this uh, wall here. So, a really nice example of how the stove operated here. We've got uh, timber shuttering over the, over the roof and on the side, side lagging the cap timbers here. There would have been ore shoots that have gone now, coming down through the side of the side lagging. And then miners working up on this stull here above us would have passed the ore down through the chutes into waiting wagons below. So this was where the center of operations for the mine took place. And there's more of those uh, stalactites up there as well. Really pretty. Very. All these timbers, they don't even bother stripping the bark off, do they? You, you drop the tree, they don't even strip the bark, they drop the tree no, and use they don't, it. Do they? Drop the tree and use it. Yeah. Like that timber up there, it's like barely hanging on. Look at that one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Got ourselves the flooded winds on the left here, another one. Oh, yes. But so this one's partially covered by a small. What a sneaky one, this one. Yeah. One of those ones that tends to creep up. Careful, easy does it. Yeah. There you go. I'm not going any closer. Nah. There's a false floor here, Lois. Keep to the right. Keep to the right. Yeah, you're on solid copper, guys. There she comes. Wow, look at this copper. Nice, isn't it? That's amazing. Lovely secondary copper mineralization here. Crazy, there's a lot of it, aren't there? 
A big run? There's a lot of it. Yeah. Oh, look down there. It's leaching down into the water. And look at the load exposure. Yes. Really nice load exposure there. No more false floors, is there? No, not that hard, to, hard to spot with this black floor. It is, yeah. Then again, if you suddenly disappear through the floor, that would seem like changing. Mm. It's mainly iron, the iron mineralization in the water. Absolutely, yeah. It's not the iron oxide rust colour, because obviously there's a lot of air down there. Yeah. A very big level, isn't it? See all this copper here. Oh. Wow. Down the water. See, all of this copper has formed within the last 20 to 30 years because the, the guy who opened this up and came in here told me that the whole place was just black, basically this colour, where the water had been, right? If you look at this, that copper ends right where the water level is, and it's black from there on down. So if the water level was up there, if you drained it and came in, this, all of this would have just been black. So everything we're seeing here has actually formed, presumably very quickly. Well, that's interesting. Mm. And that's proved by the fact that the copper ends right where the water is. At the water, water is, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it cannot form in the water. No. Not in this, in this case, anyway. Yeah. Two long drill holes up there, look. Oh, yeah. That's a bit moving, getting cold. Yeah. Starting to chill now. How is your dry suit now? Uh, it's a semi-dry suit. Okay. But due to the water temperature, has been very low anyway, it's not that warm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a dry -ish suit. Um, I need to keep moving to keep warm, basically. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're coming into fiddle territory. Oh, look! That's a lovely little looking load. Yeah, look at that. Isn't it? <laughs> Shame there was no war in it. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's been a long time. Oh, it's dry. Look at that. That's them, isn't they? The little nests of them. Wow. Oh wow, look at that one. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's good. Sure they're, they're going black. Yeah. There's some white ones here. In amongst them, look. Like a fish egg. Look, there. Yeah. Wow, that's fascinating, isn't it? <laughs> and you go on and on and on, look. So I imagine them to be bigger. Yeah, no, they're very small. Can you put my hand next to it, just for comparison? Yeah, very, very small. They're tiny. I haven't seen the shiny ones. Look how tiny they the, are. The little golden ones. Wow. And there's some golden ones over there. I envision them would be in size of chicken eggs. Oh, yeah, no, no. But they're, they're like the Cadbury mini eggs. Look at that little, oh, just, little, little tiny ones. Whoa. Little nest. Amazing. Past you. Okay, <laughs> don't take me into the middle of them. <laughs> this amazing formation I've filmed this for everybody to look see. Oh, look at that one. Oh, <laughs> stunning. Can you move up a little bit? I'll get that one now. Wow. So look at this. So they, they're really small. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Here's my fingers. I've never seen anything like it. And we got another. Did you see these? There's some, there's some mini, mini, mini ones up here. Look at these, Al. Look at those golden ones up there. Wow. Oh, wow. Tiny, tiny little ones. And these, look. What do you reckon? So, please explain how they're formed. Yeah, um, well, <laughs> I'm not an expert on these. As far as I know, well, they're known as cave pearls, uh, more common in natural caves as opposed to metal mines. 
Um, they are basically balls of mineral that are formed, you know, with the hydrology process that's, that's gone on here. But I'm sure that other people watching will know more than I do about this because I'm in no way an expert on cave pills. So if anyone would like to elaborate or correct me, please do. Well, look, this is completely round. It's like a marble. Look at that. Look at the, the pattern in it. It, you know what it looks like? It reminds me of um, uh, the planets. Yes. You know, when you look at a, a high quality photograph of a planet with the terrain in the solar system. It's all completely round. They're all completely round. Is it the washing process? Do they tumble I, along? Exactly. Do they tumble, tumble along? along? I can, I'm afraid I can't answer. Well, the ones in the little nests look pretty settled. They do, don't they? There's another and they go there. on and on and on at this level. Yeah, right? yeah. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. And different colours. Yeah. So I've noticed the ones out of the water are turning black. They are, yeah. The ones under the water remain better preserved. This is my favourite one. This one's amazing. Oh, that's just... <laughs> They look like little, little, little tiny steel balls, don't they? Mm. No, it's the one that's on my torch right now. Those baby ones. Look at that. Wow. They're everywhere. Look at this. Am, I allowed, am I allowed a new favourite, mine? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to watch where you walk. Yeah, you very, walk. very careful. Yeah. They're, they're all like, yeah, they're white ones here. There's a whole nest of them here, look. Wow, just hundreds in one little area. Let's have a look. Look at these ones down here. Blimey. Well, this is the amazing pearl mine, as we call it. And it is amazing. Lots some beautiful colours here, look. Right? These ones are like glass. The, these ones look like the sort of semi-transparent. Wow. Yeah, these ones are more... You take it out of the water, it instantly turns black. Does it really? Yeah, just trying to do a white one here. Yeah. Take it out of the water, it goes black. Oh, well. Put it back in the water, it goes white. Wow, that's a lovely level. There's another nest here. There's a um something living here laying eggs. <laughs> <laughs> that was a beauty here, look at this. Did you see these ones? Oh, whoa. <laughs> you found something better. Look at this. Yeah, I see that. Orb like one. How are they? It's like someone's laid them out. Yeah. Silver and gold and bronze. Can we this one? Well, these two are here. Oh, wow, look at this. This is a cracker. Gold one. Oh, yeah. Copper ones. Here's a silver one. Look at all these. And then here's, a, here's the gold one. Oh yeah, tiny one. Are we on the floor? No, all solid here. Just lots of mineral. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's because of the coating of... Uh, correct, yeah. These are like these Cadbury eggs. They are, the mini eggs. <laughs> Shall we explore the rest of the mine? Yeah. Look at these amazing colours here. I love these little pools. See, where the nests are, mm -hmm. it's where there's constant dripping. Yes. So that, that is what it is. It's that hydrological process. It's got to be. But yeah. I'm, I, you know, I, I don't know the details. We've, the Avian mine is like this mine. Absolutely. Leads, isn't it? No, that's true. Yeah. Mineralogically, this is one of the best. 
More copper here. Lovely. Stains of copper sulfate here on the wall. Fifty shades of blue. Yeah. <laughs> so what would I use these things for? Ah, right then. To stop drips. See the uh, these two posts, these two cross pieces? Yes. They would have laid the corrugated sheets on top of those because all that water dripping through the roof. Right. Keep it off the miners' heads. Makes sense. Yeah. This is a classic sign of a late 19th century working. Probably, I'd say, I'd even go as far as to say this is the... Uh, the 1901, 1902 period, if they're using corrugated zinc like this. This dates from that last reopening. Yeah. Forever more, yeah, more pills. Millions of them. The level still goes. Goes and it goes. Wow. Yeah. Millions of them. So we're still following the lows. There's a little cross cut there. Let's go that way. Okay, let's do it. A ball of, uh, ball of sticking there in the wall. Very well defined hanging wall here to the load. Somebody some milk. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Out the yeah, we must be in the Milky Way. It is, isn't it? So the white stuff is hydrozincite. There you go. Black is iron, and then the blue is copper. There's some sulfur over there. Yellow flow there. So the miners were def desperately following this load to see if it got better again, but. Uh, so far, I, phew, that could have been. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh yeah. All of this, all of this water on the. No wonder they had the corrugated sheets in here. Oh yeah, look at that copper coming up here. Copper coming up. And it's still going. Cave pearls everywhere. Whole floor is just made up of these pearls. We've got the, the sort of semi transparent ones again. Some gower formations on the floor as well. These steps coming up. Ladders? All right. Amazing, amazing copper here. Wow, I've never seen that. Oh, that's a beauty. What gauge is it? Is it two foot? I don't do Very careful. It's stuck. What is it? We've got a lovely track gauge here. Look at this. Um, this is two foot gauge. So that proves the gauge of the tramway here in the adit. Um, this would have been spotted between the rails as they were laying the track to make sure they kept to the right gauge. It was just a big load of gubbins and minerals on one end. But all in all, in very, very good condition. See the slight taper that's on the edges there? Not too sharp. This would have been used on the 1901-1902 track, track relaying program here in the mine. Absolutely lovely. It is. Lovely artifact. Nice collection of rammers. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. Put it back. Put it back there. Let's continue up the level. Okay. 
How are you, love? You enjoying? Just had to drag myself away from the <laughs> They're amazing, aren't they? Yeah. Got a stemming there. We'll go that way, I guess. Hey? Did you see the, the little white horses in here? They're really cute little uh... Oh, yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> that's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see what else we can find. A railway sleeper in the making? Yeah, I think, I think so. Even in here where there's not really that much flow. There's still pills. There's still pills. Sure, sure. I like that track page, that's okay. It's pretty wicked that. What a beautiful mine. Ceilings full of straws. Look at them all. Oh wow, yeah. Come on, rails here. Bridge rails. And then there. As opposed to uh, flat bottom rails, they're a little they're a bridge shape and cross section. Very common in the mines in this area. And that's the end, look. Oh wow, that's where they gave up. Look at them though. The stalactites are amazing, and the yeah. whole wall is a solid formation of iron. Look at them all. <laughs> wow. Some of them are really thick as well. They're pretty good. We've got some very vivid green copper here, not blue at all. No. Distinctly green. I've done stuff like this. Yeah. And this. That's amazing green. It's not blue like the copper mine we did last, it is a very different colour here. Very pretty. This copper has a growth. Yeah. <laughs> so it does. <laughs> Yeah, you know all the, all the copper that's leached out of that little hole right there and stained its way down to the ground. All coming out of the load. See here, it's all making its way out of the load in the roof, the fracture in the roof. How long is this? How long? Yeah. Ooh, 600, 700 feet? Wow. Yeah. Copper teardrops. And then the uh, the hanging wall side is completely barren, which is interesting. The foot wall is quite well mineralized. It looks like the um, the adit's been driven along the hanging wall side of the lows because everything's on the foot wall side and there's nothing on the right on the hanging wall. So it's been driven on the extreme hanging wall edge of the load uh, by by its appearance, anyway. because all the minerals are on the same side. And the contrast between the floor and the wall there. This is crazy, you picked them out of the water, they go black. Yeah. Immediately. Colour changing pearls. So, that one, not quite black. So it's black. Oh yeah. Try one of them. That one didn't change. That one did. But they do start, yeah, yeah. Fascinating. Amazing things. There's a planet. <laughs> yeah, they do look like that. Like the photographs that are 
taken from the satellites and whatnot. Absolutely. <laughs> wow. I'm cold now. Okay, let's start heading out then. Let's start moving. <laughs> let's head back this way. Look. Oh. Tin. Oh yeah, so it is. Ah. Do you know what this is? What? It's the tin of that yellow paint that's on the wall. Oh yeah, that's right. I bet you. Yeah, you reckon? It looks too modern to be real. It's got that lip around it like a paint Oh, tin. yeah. It well, well, yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah, that's not old. No, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, that's probably, that's probably what that is. It's a very wet load. Is all this water dripping through the roof. Normally, when you're this far underground, you don't get that much surface water no. working its way through. Very, very wet load. And it's always been like this because of all of those corrugated sheets. It's clearly always been oh, like this. The land outside is very foggy, isn't it? It is. Small Absolutely, especially the, with all the forestry planting and all. It's. Uh, land and whatnot. Yeah. Mine. Amazing. This is the best bit. <laughs> Never seen anything like it in my life. As you say, you have to walk like right on the left hand side to make sure that the. How many mines have you been in? I've never seen it before. Hundreds. Oof, yeah, hundreds, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. I've never seen anything like this before. Yeah. Have you been one? No, I've never seen cave pearls like this before anywhere else. It's absolutely amazing. Let's show the deals on our way out. Look at that little mm -hmm. nest. Amazing. And this is how small they are, look. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Absolutely tiny. Lois has taken lots of pictures. Yeah. Way back. Oh, I didn't notice this in the way past. What you got? Oh, it's pack wall. There's oh, a, yeah. There's a level there. Oh. It's collapsed, so oh. somebody's trying to dig it out. Back, um, uh, yeah, how does that actually collapsed, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Little backfilled cross cuts. Can you see any way along it? Or? No, it doesn't look very long. Just a little trial. Wow. Here that's we are again. Pearl territory. Yeah, that's the best one. For that sure, is superb. Sure. That is superb. And there's another really nice little golden one somewhere as well, like further yeah. over. Uh, oh, it's this one here. Yes. <laughs> there, is, look at that. there we go. This is uh, by far one of the best. And then the other one is the the golden pool over there. Also to your right. Oh yeah. There's a couple there. A Mickey Mouse shaped one there as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's just years of water dripping, water flowing, and yeah. minerals, isn't it? Basically? Absolutely, yeah. And, and the way they're formed in little rings and little nests like that. That, uh, that I don't understand. <laughs> and then there's a big, big round one there with a bunch of smaller ones. There's some kids of you that look like planets. Yeah. And Jupiter. <laughs> Fascinating. Mind your head on this. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mind your head on that. Here we go. All right. This level of climb is really steeply, steeper than most because when you think we haven't walked that far and it's getting wet quite quickly, so it rises at about, I don't know, 1 in 50, 1 in 60 perhaps, as opposed to the usual 1 in 100, 1 in 150. And our water level again. Amazing place. Yeah. I like the wet, well, because I'm dry, that's why, but I like the wet bit coming out. <laughs> it's actually quite fun. Yeah. I've done kayaking. Oh. I've done wading and chest waders. Yeah. But not this deep in the wetsuits. Now you've done the neck deep. Ne next yeah. one is swimming one. Yeah. We've only done that a couple of times. That's the next mission. Absolutely. But, anyway. Do you think we'll see daylight or is it too dark? Uh, it'll be getting dark now, I reckon, yeah. out there. What an amazing level. Rock on the floor. Big rock. This is quite sinister when you're looking straight along like this and the water's getting deeper and deeper and deeper. <laughs> See what I mean? Yes. It's quite sinister. <laughs> <laughs> you right, Lars? Thank you, Ned. Hey. <laughs>
Well, here's your passing. This was close to the entrance, wasn't it? This is your passing place. Yes. I can hear the waterfall. I can see daylight, though. Can I? No. No, but I can hear. Reflection, I can see. Yeah. I can hear. The I don't think there's much daylight out there this time. No, I think I can see the exit. Yeah, I can see the exit, but there's no daylight anymore. Here's the tricky bit. Oh. Gonna literally crawl out. Ready for the really fun bit. There he goes. Right, I'm out. Al's next. <laughs> wow, there he is. That's amazing. <laughs> that was amazing. Lois oh. next. There we go. How about that? Where is she? There's the torch. Can see day I can see a light coming along. Hey, there it is this. <laughs> Chin deep in the sludge. Well, how about that? That was that amazing. Was cool. That was awesome. Yeah. Sorry about the camera there, it's got water on the lens. Oh, yeah. But, um, right. It's only my face, it doesn't matter. <laughs> what a mine. What a mine. That those, is. Those pearls. Very, very rare. Very, amazing. Very, very there. Amazing. I'd like to say thank you, all the new subscribers. Please share our channel, like it, subscribe to it, just share it everywhere. It's an amazing channel. We show some cool See, stuff, don't we? Absolutely, yeah. And yeah. we'll find, I don't know where we're going to go next, but we'll find somewhere interesting. Yeah, next there. week there'll be something else. All the best to you. Ciao for now. Perfect.